Welcome to Global Feed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. Imagine Voyager 2, a tiny, lonely traveler, journeying for nearly half a century, far beyond the familiar lights of our solar system. Launched in 1977, it was sent to explore the giant planets, but its mission didn't end there. Voyager 2 kept going, sending us faint whispers from a place no human has ever been. It's our eyes and ears in the great dark ocean between the stars. Voyager 2 tells us about the heliosphere, the protective bubble created by our sun and what lies beyond. It describes a shifting boundary at the edge of our solar system, a wall of fire and magnetic fields. The journey of Voyager 2 is a journey for all of us, a gift to humanity, and a reminder that we are part of something much bigger. The story begins in the summer of 1977, when the giant outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, were aligned in a rare way. This alignment, happening only once every 175 years, created a unique opportunity, a cosmic slingshot. NASA seized the moment launching Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 to embark on a grand tour. Voyager 2 launched first, on August 20, 1977, with a slower but more ambitious path to visit all four gas giants. It flew past Jupiter in 1979 revealing active volcanoes on Io and a thin ring around the planet. In 1981 it reached Saturn, sending back breathtaking images of its rings. After Saturn, Voyager 1 left the plane of the solar system but Voyager 2 pressed on. In 1986 it made the first ever visit to Uranus, discovering new moons, rings, and a bizarre magnetic field. Then in 1989 it reached Neptune, finding the fastest winds in the solar system, and the mysterious Great Dark Spot. With its planetary mission complete, Voyager 2's journey was far from over. It became humanity's first functioning emissary to interstellar space. For decades it traveled through the outer reaches of the heliosphere, measuring and listening, waiting to cross the final frontier. This 48-year adventure set the stage for cosmic revelations still to come. Voyager 2's path is a testament to seizing rare opportunities and pushing the boundaries of exploration. Its journey continues carrying our hopes into the unknown. Every great journey faces challenges, and for Voyager 2, the greatest is time. Powered by a nuclear battery called an RTG, its energy has faded over decades. At launch, it produced 470 watts. Now, it's much less. NASA engineers have become masters of energy conservation, making tough choices about which systems to keep running. Over the years, heaters and instruments have been turned off to save power. Even exposed to deep space cold, many instruments have outlasted expectations, a testament to brilliant engineering. In 2024 and 2025, more instruments were powered down, including the plasma science instrument and the low-energy charged particle detector. Each shutdown is bittersweet, but it extends the mission's life. The goal keep at least one science instrument operating into the 2030s. The remaining instruments still send back vital data about the interstellar medium. Every bit of data is a victory, and careful management ensures Voyager 2 continues to reveal cosmic secrets. Even as its power dwindles, our explorer presses on. Voyager 2 traveled for decades toward the heliopause, the edge of our solar system's atmosphere. The heliopause marks where the sun's solar wind can no longer push back against the winds from other stars. On November 5, 2018, after 41 years, Voyager 2 crossed this monumental boundary. Its twin, Voyager 1, had crossed six years earlier, giving us two crucial data points. The crossings revealed the heliopause isn't a static sphere, it moves and breathes, expanding and contracting with the sun's activity. Voyager 2's crossing happened during a quieter solar period, confirming the boundary's dynamic nature. Our solar system is not isolated, it interacts with the galactic neighborhood. One surprise, scientists expected a dramatic shift in magnetic fields at the heliopause, but found them surprisingly aligned. This hints at a more complex relationship between our sun's magnetic bubble and the galaxy's field. The heliopause is a living shifting frontier not a fixed wall. Voyager 2's data is rewriting our understanding of the solar system's edge. The discoveries challenge old models and open new questions. The boundary between our solar system and the galaxy is more dynamic than we ever imagined. Voyager 2's crossing is a milestone in humanity's exploration of the cosmos. As Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause it encountered a wall of fire, a region of incredibly hot plasma. Temperatures here reach up to 50,000 degrees Kelvin, far hotter than the sun's surface. Yet Voyager 2 passed through unharmed, because the plasma is extremely thin, few particles, little heat transfer. It's like putting your hand in a hot oven high temperature, but low density means little danger. 
This superheated plasma forms where the solar wind slams into the denser interstellar medium, creating a shockwave. Voyager 2's instruments measured this dramatic increase in plasma density and temperature, confirming earlier hints from Voyager 1. This violent frontier is where the sun's influence meets the galaxy. The discovery helps us understand how stars interact with their surroundings. The heliosphere is like a bow wave as our sun moves through the Milky Way. Studying this hot boundary teaches us about our local interstellar neighborhood, and by extension, other star systems. Each star may have its own bubble and fiery boundary, protecting its planets. Voyager 2's journey through this wall of fire is a window into the workings of the galaxy. Voyager 2 is now over 13 billion miles from Earth, a distance hard to imagine. At 70 miles per hour, it would take over 21,000 years to reach it by car. Voyager 2 has been traveling for 48 years at 34,000 miles per hour, venturing into the unknown. From its vantage point, our solar system is just a tiny speck. Communicating with Voyager 2 takes patience. A radio signal takes 19.5 hours each way, nearly 40 hours round trip. Mission controllers must plan commands days in advance. Voyager 2 also carries the golden record. A message for any intelligent life it might encounter. The record contains greetings in 55 languages, music, sounds of nature, and images from Earth. It's a time capsule, a message of peace, and a symbol of our hope to connect with others in the universe. Voyager 2 is one of only two human-made objects in interstellar space and the longest-running space mission in history. Every day it travels 800,000 miles farther from home, exploring where nothing from Earth has gone before. Each day could be its last, but every day brings new discoveries. Voyager 2 is using every second to expand the boundaries of human knowledge. Voyager 2's journey is more than a scientific mission. It's a statement about who we are. Built by human hands, it has traveled farther and seen more than any other emissary from Earth. Its discoveries transformed distant points of light into vibrant worlds and revealed the true nature of our solar system's boundary. Voyager 2 inspires us to ask bigger questions and dream bigger dreams. Its legacy is not just in data, but in our collective imagination. The mission proves that with ingenuity and perseverance we can overcome immense obstacles. Voyager 2 is a beacon of hope, encouraging future explorers to continue the journey. From its distant vantage point it carries the memory of Earth, the pale blue dot, reminding us of our shared home. Voyager 2 is our silent ambassador, carrying our story into the Milky Way. Its epic journey is a testament to humanity's curiosity and hope for the future. Its legacy will endure long after its final whisper fades into silence.